Hi guys, Susie Good here and welcome back to Equestrian the Game. We had some changes this week because the new or final demo of Tears of Ravine got released last week, so I had to have it on Tuesday and therefore we have Equestrian the Game today on Thursday. The Disney game will continue next week because I'm so in love with that game so I can't get enough of it. And of course, as usual, we're gonna have a look at new falls. Of course, you guys, let me know in the comments below if you have got any falls, any nice horses from the horse market. I'm really curious, so let me know. So, therefore, today, we're gonna go right into the breeding stable or breeding facility to have a look at the new falls. I have enough space in my stable for three new ones. And therefore, of course, we need to make a hard decision on which horses we are not having anymore. But that will take later. Oh, a fall has been born. I don't remember which. Yeah, it was the Fjord horse with a white horse as well. And it was 100% chance of getting a white horse. And if we get a white horse with a uh, Fjord mane, oh, that will be amazing. So let's have a look at the first one and see what we get. Curious. Oh, it's a filly we didn't get the Fjord made, but it's a white, beautiful horse. It's a girl, so I really hope for the Fjord made. But we got the white coat, that's for sure. Next one, a foal has been born. Oh, hey there, that's the stallion. Very interesting eyes again. For sure. And the last one. Yeah, I have also upgraded the facilities and I have actually four options, but we, I didn't take uh, the fourth one last time because I didn't have it. All right, third fall, let's go. Ooh, that was a very interesting one. It has the freezing mane and tail actually. Ooh, I'm curious. What kind of horses are involved here? <laughs> so we will have a look at that in a stable. I will give them a name and we will meet up in the stable to have a closer look at them. All right, here we are in the stable again. And we're gonna have a look at the new horses, which is on the bottom here, I guess. Here we have Lily, Iron and Trix. Uh, I see immediately that Trix has the lowest potential, I guess. And Iron and Lily are better. Again, the beautiful coat is a little lighter, I think, than Fires. And let's see. Why I cannot go to the next horse over here? Let's see. Fire and Pixel. I think Pixel has. Yeah, it's dark. It is darker, isn't it? Once again, let's have a look at Tricks first because I'm pretty curious about this one. Uh, Alley and Fire, Pixel, Akia. Yeah. Axel is a freezing horse, therefore the freezing mane and tail on tricks. Uh, what? Now I don't know anymore if these colors are right, because when I look at him now, he has an overall potential for 442. Why is he green then? I thought blue was better than green, but he was green and the other horses was blue. What? He has a good potential. So I don't know what this though. Let's have a look at his personalities. He's a power horse, so not power horse, powerhouse, eccentric, light step, but he's spooky or nervous for things. And he's high spirited, which I like very much. And I really like this combination of this beautiful coat and freezing tail and mane. A no socks, but, or he has black socks, but no white ones, but I really like this one. He's adorable. All right, then we have Lily. I really hope for the Fjord main, but that didn't happen. Whoa, but she has good potential. But, or she ha can go up to 529 potential, so that's awesome. Obviously, who Blue is still saying good things, <laughs> kind of. She's athletic, ambitious. Uphill canter, a tendency to carry itself ex exceptionally well in the canter. Proud one. 
but she's balanced, so need to keep her going a little bit, but not if she had been calm. <laughs> then we have Iron, which I think is from Achilles in Yente, I think, as the mother and father of this horse. Yup. And Achilles is a Welsh cub, Yente is a Norwegian Fjord horse. Let's see now. He can go up to 540 in potential, which is very good. So, can't complain about that. Let's have a look at his personality. He's also a powerhouse, not a power horse, but same thing, really. Uh, he's balanced. A pill canter here as well. Proud one. And he's balanced. So, guys, very good horses, all of them. But I have to sell some horses as well for the next one that's gonna come next. So, I'm gonna make that hard decision off camera. We at least gonna pick someone new into the breeding facility here. And now we have four slots, which means it's gonna be harder for me to choose which horses should go to another owner to make space for the new ones. I need to upgrade my stable one last time so I get 16 stables. But yeah, alrighty. Let's put some new horses into breeding here. Uh, da, 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 da. Lou and Rue are pretty good horses. So maybe we should take Rue. This is very beautiful, actually. Together with... I do not have any stallions that at her league, really. <laughs> But we can take her together with Link, maybe, and see how that's... Ooh, we can have a potential up to 726, but I don't think that's gonna happen. But at least we are not actually under 400 on these two. So, let's give these two a go. But of course, that's gonna be expensive. I don't think I have enough to have four or six... Let's see. Two, four, six, eight horses into breeding. <laughs> All right, next couple. We can take Jay. And then actually, Achilles. Ooh, it's 3,500 to be them. So this is expensive, you guys. But we give them a go as well. Third couple. Maybe we should then take Lou. Wow, she's a big freezing horse. Together with. Uh, how will it be with... Well, again, very good, but look at the difference. The mare is very big compared to the stallion. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is funny. We take them a go. And the last couple. Gonna be... Actually, Pixel. Together with... Only Iron, actually. <laughs> Too much family here. <laughs> yeah, we can give them a go. Not so bad on the potential though, not under 400, so things are getting better on that part. But look how many different breeds we have here. Oh my gosh, that sounds a little bad. But okay, breed! So, therefore we're gonna have four folds to have a look at next time. That's a lot! But now I'm on the other end, having too few very good stallions and have very good, too many good mares. The struggle is real, you guys. And as you can see, the time is running away from us, so we need to end this video here. And I have been thinking a lot. Like I said, beauty is the starter horse, but she's taking up a very important slot for better horses. So I have made a decision to sell her. She had been an amazing horse to begin, begin with, and she did a very good job on the competition, but she cannot go any higher up in Tyre, and she deserves a home that's gonna take good care of her or something like that. So I will sell Beauty, I will sell three other horses, and also upgrade the stable for all the fools to be welcomed. What? To have enough space for all the new fools, and maybe also buy some new horses on the horse market. <laughs> so again, you guys, let me know in the comments below if you have got any beautiful false lately or bought any beautiful horses from the horse market and which tire are you on what's the highest tire you have tried out i'm still on tire three because i'm doing 
I'm like, always get any faults so I cannot go any higher to tire tree. So that's annoying, but I will keep going to get there eventually. See ya. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with friends and family, and of course, subscribe to my channel for more videos from, videos from games, edits, and also drawings, and you will see what more gonna be added in the future. I have some plans in mind, but we will see. So yeah, I will see you for the live stream. Bye!